In this video, we make a vertical laptop stand for a MacBook Pro 13 inch. But this will work for any laptop if you change the parameters and use the right measures for your laptop profile. The design I have in mind is a rounded diagonal cross for the base and arms that get their shape from intersecting circles. Let's get right into it. First, let's create the drawing for the base. I start off with a rectangle, dimension it to have the size I have in mind and draw circles for the rounded edges of the cross. 230 mm diagonal, 95 mm width, and 12 mm diameter circles. Then I create offsets of the diagonal lines fitting to the diameters of the circles. Trimming on the inside of the cross lets me fillet the crossing lines without them disappearing on one of the two sides. You can try it without trimming to see what I mean. Now some filleting with radii that I think look good, 80 and 36 mm, and we have finished the drawing for the base. A bit more trimming will help us with the extrusion later. Now the side profile. We create a new drawing and a vertical line that helps me find the center of the first of the two intersecting circles. 126 mm length, which is also the radius of the first circle. Another small line gives me the offset I have in mind for the second of the intersecting circles. 14 mm length and 127 mm radius for the second circle. Trimming off the top lets me now fillet the two sides with a 2.5 mm radius. And we are done again with the second drawing. Now to the laptop shape that we want to hold in place. In a new drawing I create the base with the correct width that I got from the technical specs. 14.9 mm that I made to be 15 to have a little bit of space. I then can set it to be symmetrical to the vertical center line and give it the desired distance from the bottom. 22.5 mm. Then we draw out the rest of the laptop shape. Dimensions here are not important as it just needs to be big enough to let us create the slot for the laptop. To get the right shape of the tapered end at the bottom, I use a screenshot from the Apple website and load it into a canvas. Then I calibrate the canvas to the right size, remember the width was 14.9 mm, and move it into place. The base is not symmetrical, so I create a shorter line with the approximate dimension, set it to be symmetrical to our vertical line. Then I rotate the canvas a little. 0.75 degrees seems to make the tapered end to be in the center of the stand. That seems to be an acceptable angle for the laptop later, so let's leave it at that. But rest assured that the laptop will actually be at this angle in the stand as the center, we force the, cent the tapered end to be in the center of the stand. Then we draw a spline of the curvier side and mirror it over to the other side. This concludes the drawings needed for the laptop stand. Now all we have to do is the extrusion of the bodies needed to put it all together. First, let's extrude the base, 12 mm, and the arms, 34 mm symmetrical. Make sure to create new bodies for this. The laptop profile doesn't have to have any particular length. It just needs to stick out on both sides. Now some filleting, first the base with a 6 mm fillet, then the arms with a 2.5 mm fillet on, bones, fillet on both sides. Now we can join the two pieces together. Last, we cut the laptop shape out of the stand. Some more filleting makes the corners less sharp. I use 1 mm fillet. And here we go. This is ready to be exported and printed.